Well, uh, hello. Today I just bought this VCR on Kijiji. It is a Sony SLV 701 HF, and uh, I paid it twenty dollars uh, on the someone on Kijiji, and uh, I asked him if it was working, and uh, I asked him to test it, and uh, he said he tested it, and uh, he said it was working, but uh, now I just uh, brought it back home, and uh, well, it is not working. The the belts. The belts, uh, you see, they are not good anymore. Well, when I tried to insert a tape, uh, the capstan motor didn't turn, of course. So yeah, I just uh, I just got uh, scammed. So yeah, I'll flip the camera upside down and uh, I'll w I will uh, show you the front of the VCR, as I always do. It is like the VCR the VCR King SLV uh, 400, but uh, this one is a SLV 701 HF. It is a high fi stereo VCR. So right now I'm going to uh, get rubber bands and uh, I will replace uh, all three belts that uh, of course are all uh, all uh, uh, worn out. They are all not good anymore. So now I have removed the, the bad belt and uh, I have uh, put, uh, I have installed rubber bands instead of the belt. So yeah, here's the front of the VCR again. And so uh, here is the inside of the VCR, the mechanism. So this is one of the mechanism I, I was looking for. So I was, uh, I am happy to uh, have got this uh, mechanism. I'm happy about it. And uh, well, uh, so uh, now that I have uh, changed the belt, uh, it works. And uh, yes, uh, I think it was worth uh, paying twenty uh, Canadian dollars for this because I was looking for it, and uh, it's a rare VCR. I've never seen it before in my area, nor at Value Village, nor on uh, Kijiji. So a uh, rare VCR. So uh, now the VCR is working well. And so for, for some reason it uh, goes on play uh, automatically while there is no tab. So that is weird. Now it's fine, and uh, I noticed uh, this part that uh, I don't know when I took apart the VCR, it fe it fell from the VCR, so maybe it was uh, uh, loose in the VCR, or maybe it skipped away. I don't know, but I don't know where it's from. But uh, I, maybe it's uh, the the tab, the sensor here. Maybe this part is was the sensor here. That's why it does this. Maybe this part was removed and uh, it was uh, free in the VCR and the, uh, it uh, fell when I took it apart, so I'll see if it, it if it is this part. So uh, yes, uh, this part is the tab. The sensor, uh, like the sensor here, it, uh, the, the part that uh, detects uh, that uh, detects the tab is this. So it uh, probably skipped away. But now I'm gonna review the VCR uh, like uh, without this part, so uh, I will insert the tape again and I will turn on the TV. So this is a quite interesting mechanism. Oh, I, the VCR is not plugged to the TV, I just plug it. So uh, the picture is working. It has a pretty good picture, but uh, it has some uh, lines and colors like in the top of the TV, so uh, the picture could be better. I'll try to clean the heads. Or uh, perhaps the heads are worn out. But anyway, the picture is pretty good and uh, well, at least the mechanism works fine. So now I'll try to uh, fast forward. So it is not very fast. 
but maybe it's because of the the, the rubber band but uh, it's not very fast it is actually uh, pretty slow but it's an old VCR from about uh, 1990 Now I'm gonna eject the tape. It ejects with no problem. Here there are commands like on my other Sony VCR. It has input select. But uh, the, this one does not have tape, tape uh, speed. And uh, yeah, it really looks like this uh, other Sony VCR here, the SLV686HF. The front really, really looks like this one, but uh, it's not the same mechanism at all. Completely different. But uh, the front is similar. Basically, uh, the VCRs that are like this, but that does not have the speed rewind function, uh, are these VCR, and uh, well, they have this mechanism. So the one with that has a jog shuttle and that are shaped uh, like this, they have this mechanism. And uh, the other Sony, uh, well, it's much better. The mechanism is uh, better made, and uh, well, uh, the other Sony it doesn't have a uh, rubber bands, while this one has three. And they don't seem to be a uh, very good quality, as they have, uh, as they are not good anymore. This one has a plastic belt, so it's much better. And uh, you'll see, uh, you see, uh, they are very not good. So the seller, uh, the person who sold it. The VCR, uh, he had other uh, stuff, other Sony stuff, uh, appliance, but uh, so maybe uh, he thought that I wanted uh, another one and he tested another one because uh, he told me that it, he tested this VCR and uh, now it's not working. So yeah. And uh, at another moment I'm try I will try to fix this. So now I will show you the bottom side, so I'll first uh, insert a tape. Because I don't think I can uh, insert a tape uh, while the VCR is upside down, it's, I think it blocks. So now it is on play, it uh, went on play automatically. It uh, changes position when I press play. So now I press power. Just flip the VCR again, and uh, well, this mechanism really re reminds me of my Shintom VCR that I used to have, and uh, this is actually a Shintom uh, mechanism, but uh, it is found is in these Sony VCRs. Now I just press eject, and uh, well, uh, it, it uh, called eject. But uh, if I insert it, it will block when the VCR is raised up like this. So yeah, now the mechanism, this is the bottom side of the loading motor. And it drives a belt like this. And uh, this is actually the same thing as my uh, Shintom VCR. Very similar mechanism to my Shintom VCR that I had. It's basically the my Shintom mechanism, but uh, uh, it has a normal capstan motor like this. While on my Shintom that I had, uh, it has a, a capstan motor that was uh, next to the loading motor here and it drove a, a belt, a flat belt, to the capstan uh, flywheel and uh, another belt to the idler. But uh, this was basically the same thing. But uh, so this, uh, it, it, uh, it seems to be a double cam. It seems to be a double cam mechanism. Well now I will tilt the VCR and I will uh, insert the tape again.
So yeah, with the, my rubber bands, uh, with my rubber bands, it uh, does the job. It's uh, working uh, pretty fine. So it has two cam gears. And uh, this right here uh, is the belt that drives the cassette carriage because on this VCR is the cassette carriage that ejects and the, well, the loading motor, uh, the loading mechanism uh, moves this gear so in order so that the capstan uh, motor, this pulley here drives the other pulley and then turn this gear and uh, on, over this there is like the uh, uh, warm gear and that will drive the, the uh, cassette loading mechanism so now I will press power. So uh, you could uh, see it unloading. That's pretty nice. So now I just press the fast forward. So it's pretty special because it has an, a pulley layer here. This is not common. So uh, you will see this turning because I will uh, press eject. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So now uh, that's pretty much it for my video and uh, well I hope you enjoyed uh, this VCR while me uh, I enjoy it so yeah that's pretty much it So now I have put the part wh where it was and uh, it doesn't stay there so uh, there is something broken Yeah there is something broken it doesn't stay there